Uh, but he says, in doing this, you'll heap burning coals on his head. And I think that's referring to we're shaming them. Because if you were if you were just really rude and insulting and mean to me, and all I do is return kindness, it might not even happen that moment, but maybe an hour later, or that night, or next week, as you're thinking about that experience, you look back and you feel ashamed of yourself the, the way that you acted. But if I got in the flesh with you, then you could just justify your behavior because you'd see that, uh, hey, I'm just like, I'm hateful too. I, I had this happen to me uh, one time. I was preaching and sharing the gospel and the person was being really ugly with me and I just, I stayed in the spirit, like you said. Um, and uh, the next day, the same person came by and stopped and, and apologized to me um, for the way they acted. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so. and I've been observing you now for five years, and uh, and uh, I certainly have seen uh, that change in the way you react to these situations. And uh, I think we're both growing, maturing spiritually, so that the, we don't react the way that we used to. Uh, and let's pray that we can continue and uh, uh, you know, not ever fall back into the flesh. Uh, Proverbs 15.1 says, A soft answer turns away wrath, but grievous words stir up anger. Uh, so this is uh, another example uh, instru- instructing us that you know, when someone is insulting to us, says something rude to us, flips you off, uh, and whatever they do, when we, when we return a soft answer, it's raising our voice and getting angry, uh, that turns away wrath, it says. Uh, now, uh, I'm thinking of someone, I won't, I won't mention a name, but this is someone I really like. He's got, he basically he has a very gentle spirit. And uh, he is a pastor, and I re- respect him and, uh, a lot. But uh, he, he was out there with me one night, street preaching, and, and uh, someone would walk by and make a sarcastic comment. And he would make some sarcastic comment back at them. Yeah, that's and, not part of the message. And I asked him, I said, do you think that's the the right way to respond uh, and, and he says well the Bible says I'll always be ready with an answer and uh, I, I personally I think that uh, we're better off not having any answer the best answer is shut up turn the other cheek but in a, in a verbally yes. they insult you you turn the other cheek you say nothing you just take it rather than, but I know so many street preachers they they must make a list of, of one line answers they always got a one line answer and it's usually sarcastic where they want to have well, an answer back for someone. A lot of that's just a show. Just a show trying to get people to laugh and, and stuff like that. It's not part of the gospel message. And, and, it, and it shouldn't be uh, nowhere in your message to act like that. Now, I want to bring up a, a, a point here as we're getting near the end. Uh, uh, I know a, a person that uh, really condones all this kind of bad behavior. And, and uh, the way that he... Uh, will rationalize it. He, he, he says, well, at least they're doing something. It's better to, to, to be doing something, even if it's wrong. At least they're doing something. And, you know, I went along with that for a long time. Uh, but I finally had to take a stand against it because uh, the truth is, it, it's, it's uh, not better to at least do something. If it's wrong, stop doing it. Um, I'd rather have you, if you think that you uh, want to do street evangelism, but you cannot do it with a proper demeanor and the proper, the proper uh, gospel message, then don't do it. You're not helping. Um, you're better off doing nothing. Because what they're doing is they're not helping the cause. They're hurting it. They're not drawing men to Christ. They're repelling them away from the cross, away from Christ, because they basically say, and I've heard people say this, if that's what Christianity is all about, I don't want to be one. Yeah, well, I mean, if you if you have the wrong message and your demeanor's bad, I mean, you know, uh, you said, what did you say? You said at least they're doing something. Well, you know, the, the Mormons are doing something and the Jehovah Witnesses are doing something, but they have the, the wrong message, you know? Uh, so if you're hanging around a bunch of guys that... Um, that's your 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 uh, attitude is that at least they're doing something, but these guys you're hanging around got the wrong message and they got the wrong demeanor. Then it, it's no different than um, hanging out with some uh, Mormons and going to share the gospel with Mormons door to door or with the Jehovah Witnesses. Um, well, there's no difference. We're almost out of time, so I'm, the last thing I'd like to to to, to say is that um, uh, the purpose of this series here 
is to encourage people to do street evangelism. Uh, but if you will not do it with the right attitude and the right message, I don't want to encourage you. I want to discourage you. Uh, don't do anything because you'll, you're, uh, you, it's better to do nothing than to do harmful things. Um, so um, what have you got to, to add here, closing? Yeah, I, I agree. And uh, um, like, uh, if you don't uh, um, preach uh, um, salvation by faith alone and Christ alone and and you don't have the right demeanor, then you're just pushing people away from the grace of God and, and, and you're not uh, helping to bring these people to Christ. So I, I agree. All right. Well, uh, you too. I, I hope uh, some people uh, benefit from this. Uh, we've probably estranged ourselves further from uh, many of these people we've known in the past. <coughs> uh, but uh, we look forward to all your comments.